Hello people, welcome back to Natalie's Niche. I am so, so, so excited to have you guys back on my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about purpose. And this topic was actually chosen by you guys on my Instagram. If you are not following me on my Instagram, honey, you are missing because all my stories is where life happens, okay? So please make sure you are joined at it's Natalie's Niche. So I had to switch my name just to like make it, you know, rhyme with my YouTube account. So it's Natalie's Niche on Instagram. Go, go join the family, okay? What is your why? An intro to purpose. I said an intro to purpose because I believe that purpose is a discovery. It should not be rushed, okay? So... This video is going to have more to come. I don't know how you guys will want to see it. If you want to see it back to back, I can do that. Or if you want to, you know, do other videos and then we can revisit the topic purpose. That is fine by me. Just let me know in the comments below. And I relate life to the five W's of life. I don't know if you know that theory, but it's the who, the what, the when, the where, and the why. And for me, I kind of flip it. I focus on the why first before I even go to the who. That's because I believe that in you asking questions, you find answers. And until you find your why, you will remain a why, a question not answered, which is why I focus mainly on why. This is because I believe that at some point in all our lives, we've all been forced to ask ourselves these questions. Why am I here? Why was I put on earth? Google defines purpose as a reason, a cause, you know? And imagine it, like think about it. To do anything you want to do in life, you need a reason. You want to eat because you're hungry. You know, you drink water because you're thirsty. Any reason to why you're alive becomes your why at the end of the day. If you do not know your why, you find no reason to improve your life. This is the reason why most people might feel stuck, stagnant, or just comfortable in the position they are. So plant's why is to grow and bear fruits, but it yields nothing when it's lost its reason. It started to grow in the first place. So why do you do what you do? <laughs> you see, we have all the sight of our whys at some point in our lives. The main thing here is that we have been thinking wrong all along. Your why is not for you. Your why is not to impress people. Your why at the end of the day is supposed to bring glory to God. And if it doesn't bring glory to God, this is why it has an expiration date. This is why sometimes you see people start, start off something and then at some point they just stop doing it. This is the reason why sometimes you see people go to school without no clear direction of what they want to do in school. And even some people go to school, get a degree, but at the end of the day, can't work with that degree. You know, it's not, let's not, we're not talking about employment opportunities here. That person might very well be using that degree for something good, but they just feel stuck. This is because we pursue our wives with the wrong intentions. Our intentions are to feel fulfilled, to impress others, but it should really be intended to glorify God. The reason you were put on earth at this time, at this moment, during this decade, you know, during this millennial time. You see, we might feel tired, but that's because we do not know our wives. Because your why will always fool you up. It will always be the push you need whenever you just feel exhausted and tired of life. Ask yourself these questions. Why are you different from everyone that's trying to do the same exact thing that you're trying to do? Why are you so important? <laughs> what makes you stand out? Your why sometimes can stem from your family, proving doubters wrong, or just proving yourself right. Ooh, mine was proving the doubters wrong. 
I just did not want certain people to be able to say I said it. So that just made me push, push, and push to figure out what my why was. You see, sometimes our whys lies in the chaos. Our whys, you know, can be found during the times where we think that it's all over. Here is what I have to tell you, is that when all you see is the mess, find the message. And when all you see is the worst, find your why. My why became more visible when my life was a mess. I was able to find myself as a woman. It took me feeling out of nursing school to know that there were no other careers for me that had my why but nursing. I found my husband doing my mess and my why to my existence began to flourish. This is the reason why I started identifying myself with the symbol of my life. And I'll tell you a little secret of mine today. It's not really a secret, but yeah, I'll give you more info about me. So I identify my life with the lotus flower a lot. And I got to learn about um, the lotus flower in my psychology class. It just stuck with me for some reason. You see, the professor explained the process of how the lotus flower grows. It intrigued me to know that the lotus flower grows in dirt in the worst conditions <laughs> and that does not stop its cause or its why because that flower grows regardless and it blooms into one of the most beautiful flowers of all so in every situation i find myself i always relate back to my symbol which is the lotus flower and I know that though it tarry, it must surely, surely come to pass. Habakkuk 2, verse 2. I identify myself so much with the lotus flower because it, it pushes me and it reminds me that there is, there is so much bliss in that struggle. It lets me know that if beauty can come out of dirt, <laughs> my life is beautiful and something great is going to come out of every challenge that I find myself in. So I'll end with this Bible verse I mentioned earlier. Though it tarries, it must surely come to pass. And as long as you keep pushing and rediscovering, discovering who you are and why you're here, your why will find you and you will find your why. And remember, your why lies in God and it should bring glory to God at the end of the day. So I hope that this video helps you, that it makes you, you know, try to identify with, you know, symbols or like a Bible verse, you know, and hold it closely to your heart. That in times where life will want to push you down or pull you down, you relate and you go back to those, those symbols, those Bible verses, and you just feel alive again and you know your why because you at that point you're no longer a question at that point you become an answer an answer to yourself an answer to generational wealth an answer to generational blessings you become no longer anything that was tying you to your past you become so much more and so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me on what is your why and intro to purpose. If you would want me to, you know, delve into the other four W's, please leave a comment down below because trust me, this is one of my favorite topics. I have many more infos for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And like I said, I identify so much with the Bible verse Habakkuk 2 verse 2, though it tarry, it must surely come to pass. Although it takes time or anything takes time, once God has said it, it must surely come to pass. And this is also the reason why I identify with the lotus flower. Ask my husband, he already knows, that's my favorite flower. That's just because it tells me that beauty can be found in the dirt. So, Although my life may not be where I want it to be right now, I know that there's so much beauty coming out of it. 
so i hope that is a push for you today i hope that helps you you know try to figure out and find out your purpose so thank you so much for joining me on this video please like 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 please comment i want to hear so much from you guys and please subscribe join the family i am so so happy to have everyone on my channel i am so grateful thank you so much please keep the faith always look good and live your life see you next time bye